I still haven't picked up that speaker wire over there since the last video. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? K Face Guy here. Quick video. This video is going to be about this TV in front of me and OLEDs in general. It's going to be about um, screen burn in, image retention. I got a lot, or I get a lot of comments asking me is there any burn in with the TV? I'm worried about burn in. I'm worried about leaving my TV on overnight and then the image is still stuck in my screen. So I'm going to address that in a mass video for everybody now. I watch YouTube, I don't know, 30 hours every two days. I watch YouTube all the time, probably seven hours a day. Well, I don't watch very much regular um, TV or anything like that. It's just video games and YouTube. Usually on all my videos, you'll see YouTube in the background. And with the way Xbox works, it has um, auto shut off after an hour of inactivity. But when you're on an app such as YouTube or Hulu, um, it thinks that you're still watching it even when you fall asleep. So it doesn't actually go off. There are times when YouTube, um, you know how YouTube automatically plays the next video. Um, with this app on the Xbox, it doesn't always go to the next video. And so sometimes I might be stuck on a screen like this, or I'll be stuck on a screen showing me the next video, waiting for me to press A on my controller or something of the sort. And so overnight, it, it will stay on that picture the whole time. So let's say this is a picture that I fell asleep to, and it's been on there for about seven or eight hours. Um, the TV itself does have an auto... Um, dimming system so after a certain amount of minutes it does lower the screen's brightness to help with um, burn in also if you if we can go into the settings here I'll grab this remote here I'm sorry if the water is a little loud if you go into the settings here with the remote you'll see here if I go to picture I believe let's see if I remember how to get there OLED panel settings here we have a pixel refresher and we have screen shift which is automatically set on. It says here um, screen shifts at regular time intervals to prevent panel noise and this picture refresher says use the option to correct picture quality issues that may result after your TV has been turned on for an extended period of time. Now what this one does right here is if I was to click this it turns off the TV for quite a while. I forget how many hours it was but it's a few hours and what it does is um, refreshes the screen, recalibrates the screen, etc, and gets rid of that burn-in if you experience any burn-in. I have yet to use this at all and I've had this TV for quite a few months now. I've not used this at all. I haven't had any problems with burn-in whatsoever. My screen shift is just on automatically. Why not? You know? Um, it does sh it says to shift the screen at time intervals to prevent panel noise. It also shifts the screen to um, keep that image from burning in that spot of the TV. So if we exit back out of here, if I'm sitting here on this screen for too long, uh, I see that this image is moving, but that image is not moving, that image, yada, 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 it will shift at certain intervals to keep from burning in on that section of the television. So there's things in this OLED TV and probably in other OLED TVs that keep from burning in. Like I said, I've yet to experience any burn in with this television. I know that's the main concern with OLED for some people, but I've yet to see that be a problem. Now, I'm speaking more on the terms of LG, LG's panels. Um, I don't know with Sony's or um, Samsung's or anything like that. But I know LG has a system, and I'm sure other people have a system too to keep from having screen retention or screen burning, however you want to say it. So, if that's been a fear for you and you haven't jumped from LED to OLED, don't let that be a fear for you. Um, you're missing out on picture quality, and you're missing out on performance, you're missing out on a lot of things with LED, LCD TVs. They can't get as dark, they get as bright, but as you can see here, this is plenty bright for me, and I don't, I don't think it's very high on the brightness, actually. I know that a lot of people say that OLEDs don't get very bright, but the picture recommended picture settings that you have, you're not even getting that bright anyway. You see here, Contrast 95, OLED Light 50. So, I mean, I have a lot of wiggle room if I, if I want to, to make this darker or lighter. So, and this is the brightest point of the day. I think it's about 2 p.m. here right now. 
so the window's fully open as you guys can see and I can see the television just fine so don't worry about the burn-in don't worry about not getting bright enough OLED TVs are the way to go and they will become more prominent as time moves on so I just want to make a quick video for you guys to address the burn-in and hopefully it helps you pick the nice TV that you've always been wanting so I'm gonna to continue to watch some YouTube and I'm not feeling well so I'm gonna get some medicine and get back into bed so Stay tuned for future videos and uh, K-Pace guys out.